We often report on school districts consolidating to save money. Today, we met some students who will grapple with new buildings, new teachers, and a new environment so the Mason School District can save money. Here's 9 News anchor Tanya O'Rourke. Tanya? Carolyn Clyde, one way Mason School District is saving money is to close Mason Heights Elementary. Well, those students will attend Western Row Elementary come this fall. To put fears at rest, today they got a tour of what will be their new school. It was hard to tell which was causing a bigger commotion, our camera or the fact that Western Row Elementary will be these students' new school next year. For all the parents and administrators' worries, the kids took the tour in stride. Most of the groups want to know, Mr. Master, where's playground? Um, where's cafeteria? And, you know, where's gym? And can we go play? Eric Messer is currently the principal of both Western Row and Mason Heights grade schools. There are two bathrooms in the cafeteria right back there. Next year, he'll dedicate all his time to Western Row. But the bonus is the kids from both schools already know him. When they walk in the door, um, it was kind of like, Wait, there is Mr. Messer. He does go to Western Row. So we have one more thing that you thought was just like Mason Heights. Still, transitions, especially when it comes to schools and children, can be tricky. So teachers encouraged friendship and commonality. What's your favorite food, Abby? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, the world's greatest equalizer. The first day of the new and more populated Western Row Elementary will be August 22nd. Until then, kids, enjoy the summer. Carol? That's right. Well, if you got chicken nuggets, you pretty much got it, got it made. World by the tail. <laughs>